Guys, welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. My name is Gamerzak and in the last video you saw how sometimes I can be quite bad at this game. Now, by no means I'm not the worst player. I'm not the worst player at this game. I'm probably okay. I understand what I'm supposed to be doing, but I just can't do it. And in that campaign video, I made some very painful mistakes and reading the comments, most of you are pretty much just saying just play better. Just play better, you know, just be better at macro. Just be better at micro. Why didn't I have any pikemen? Well, because I can't control the groups. I can barely control one group. That's why I didn't have pikemen. Why didn't I have 70 villagers? They kept dying and I couldn't stop them from dying. So today, today, I'm gonna come back in a much less painful way, going back into the campaigns, the Tamerlane campaign here, and we've got some big brain plays today. Big brain plays. Now that I've actually played the map and understand what it's really about, uh, we can make this much, much easier. By the way, just so you know, a review copy of this was sent to me, but I already bought the game at the time, so it just gave me early access. Gotta mention that. But also, if you would like to support the channel, there's a Humble Bundle referral link down below, where if you use that link to buy this game or any of the other games on Humble Bundle, you help support the channel, so thank you so much if you do that. Now, Amir of Transoxiana here. I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and skip this intro here. We're going to let it load in. Uh, load times can be a little iffy right now on this slightly before release build of Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. Uh, but uh, yeah, what we have to do is basically play the objectives, but I misunderstood the risk and rewards last time. So, what you can see here, uh, the, the basically... It the tells you. Lords of this step will Hello. tremble in fear at the sound of our thundering hooves. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Uh, let's just start mining gold. Now, this is not going to be efficient plays. This is not going to be uh, great plays. It's just going to be easy plays. Easy plays. Yeah. So I'm just going to gather up all of my horsemen here. No rush. No rush. We don't have to rush anything. Take your time. We are playing on hardest difficulty, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Take your time. Just the horsemen. Anyone who is on horseback or camelback also works. Just gonna grab all of you guys. Set them to control group one. Gather them up. We're gonna send them up this way. Okay, that should be all of the ones on horseback. Yes, okay, good. Now, ooh, miss one. Let's grab him too. All of you just gather up up there. Uh, meanwhile, the rest of our villagers are going along. I'm just gonna go ahead and start training a whole bunch of villagers. Actually, let's not do that. Let's get that research, then train a whole bunch of villagers. Hey. Also, I'm gonna just immediately set up another lumber camp there. Because I feel like that's important. Uh, on the back of this, we can get some good upgrades. For example, the blacksmith, maybe armor upgrades. Archers and cavalry archers. No, let's get that upgrade, sure. Uh, there's some pretty nice upgrades here. Uh, we can get some people gathering food on here. Okay, good. So we have our yellow friends here. Now, the way I understood... Um, well, let's speed up the game. Uh, the way I understood the reward was these guys, we would get these units. We would get these units if we do the objective. That's not what we get. But that's why I avoided it last time, because over here on the west, there's what looks to be the hardest city to beat. Um, and I thought, oh, it's not worth taking on that huge city on the west if we're just going to get like, what, 20, 20 units, something like that. Uh, meanwhile, I also want to just, since we already have the resources, I'm just going to pop a castle down this side. Yeah, get, get to building a castle, yeah. Uh, we'll keep villagers going that way. Yeah, then bring villagers back this way. Keep villagers going. Grab upgrades when you can. You know, this infantry and cavalry have plus one attack. Nice one. This one in the castle. Light cavalry and cavalry archers have plus one pierce armor. Sure, let's grab that. These are all very important upgrades that we should totally get near the start. If you will help me slay I will take command of the white orc and help you conquer Transoxiana. Right, it says, I'll help you take command of the White Horde and help you conquer Transoxiana. I thought that he, we might get these units and then maybe some of the units from the city. Not what actually happened. So here's what we're gonna do. 
I'm gonna run along the river here. There's our target. We gotta kill that guy, Urus Khan. Urus Khan. Uh, so let's let's just sneak around this this side. And once we do this, this mission becomes supremely easy. We're taking some shots here, but don't worry. If we lose this entire army, it doesn't matter. But there's a little wooden opening on this side here. Our scouts have identified the weaknesses of our enemies. Where's Urus Khan? I can't see him. I've lost sight of him. There he is. No, kill that guy. Just kill him. It doesn't matter what else happens. We are just here to kill Urus Khan. Got him. That's it. That's it. Oh, so we get that. You may use our dock to fish in the ROC. One, two, three, four, five. Sure. And get that upgrade as well. Um, and yeah, just in case we ever do that, we might as well set that now. Okay, make sure you get to reseeding farms. Get to farming. Okay, we got farms going. So now we immediately took one enemy out of this game. Completely gone. Completely gone. These guys can now go around gathering up these other things. We also secure a massive safe source of food and our allies are now scouting for us and fighting for us and they do build new units as well. So <laughs> this this mission is now way, way, way easier. Get to mining gold dash. Oh, okay, good. Uh, we can get the, the resource upgrades while we're at it. Good, good. Yeah, just get all of those upgrades. Check for any... Didn't I set the waypoint? Like, where is that? Seeing the fish where it actually is, it's actually a little hard. We've got synchronized fish here. I hope they do <laughs> offset that. Anyway, we're getting more units here. Let's grab them. There's more up this way as well. So this castle is just gonna like keep us a little safe here. But honestly, you can just take your time now. There's no, no biggie. No real rush to do things. Just get the upgrades. Uh, I like this husbandry. Horses move faster. We got that relic, yes. I'd like to get this thumb ring soon. I'd like to get this uh, archers, cavalry archers, galleys, town centers, plus one attack, plus one range. I want to get these two as well. We probably need some more villagers just doing things. So just, yeah, just get a bunch more up there. Should probably get more farms going, honestly, but it's fine. Uh, up here, there's more free units. Just grab those. We don't really want the wolves. Let's grab those. Great. Now, with the yellow keeping the enemy preoccupied, you know, we're, we're, we just have so much more room and leeway to do things. <laughs> you don't always need good players. Smart players work fine as well. Let's grab that. Also, just reminder, wait until you get the message from yellow to, before you kill this guy. Uh, because otherwise he'll wipe out your army. Uh, I think there's actually more over here. Let's go grab them. And now we can start training up. Oh, let's grab that and then train up a bunch of cavalry archers. I'm gonna just hotkey those. Train up a bunch of these guys. These guys also uh, train up, well, I mean, gather gold for you, basically. Go. Yeah, pick off units when you can. Always handy. I think there's more up this way. I'm not sure. I can't quite remember. Is there more over this side? Where's the nearest crossing? It's very close to... Oh, it is right at blue, actually. Let's pull back. Uh, we do have quite a lot of quite a lot of units here but I'm I kind of want a bit more we do almost have all the upgrades for our military just that last one we'll train up a few more oh we got these guys there we go no, not you you guys just go home and see all the scouting's pretty much done for us uh, kill these guys please thank you 
trained up. Nice group of units here. Oh, we're fighting red a little bit. Okay, we'll do some of the fighting. We won't let everything to yellow, okay? Okay, okay, let's play this off a little bit. Bit of a messy spot to fight. Let's pull back. And from here, just press shift and click on, well, cavalry archers. You can use the hotkeys if you want. And the Keshiks. Oh, there's quite a few of them. All right, all right. But with the upgrades, we should be able to get through this relatively quickly. Uh, do we need any of these other upgrades? Plus line of sight. We are short on gold, actually, a little bit. Let's do that. Okay, let's try... Just pick these off, shall we? There we go. Okay. So once you amass a comfortably sized army, we did get that relic, right? Yeah, we got that relic. Uh, green's doing a little bit of work here. We can protect our yellow friends a little bit while we're at it. Yeah, let's do this. We gotta take out one of these enemies, so our yellow friends do a little bit better. Now, the easiest one to do, I think, is blue. You can see blue up here? It's, the objective is just to raid the blue horde. So, you kind of just have to destroy their town center. So what we're going to do is just head on over there. On the back of this, keep training cavalry archers, Keshiks, shift click. Okay. We have a pretty decent force here. But don't worry too much about losing units. Don't worry too much about losing units. Um... Let's just waltz right into their base. Now click on the other side of the town center. So all your units just sort of start moving into the town center. And then click on the town center. So they're all able to attack at the same time. Gone. And then we can pull back. <laughs> and basically, we should probably kill these units. Okay. We are low on gold. Are we still training more villagers? Could probably do with more villagers. Let's grab these guys. Make sure they're on defensive. I like to keep them on defensive. No, no, pull back, pull back. You guys should be on defensive. Stop attacking so much. Okay, good. Red's doing some work, but it's okay. Let's go take out Red. Where's the... Oh, there is actually no crossing here. We have to walk through their base. Let's just group up these new units. Yep, all of you make your way up there. I suppose we could just go ahead and clear out these towers. It'll allow us to get the relic. So yeah, just kill this first. We gotta take out that, that, and that. So we're getting a pretty large army here. Okay, some reinforcements coming. Let's get this one. And we're gonna kill this. Red's trying to intervene. Let's send a couple horsemen over to that tower. Come on, go kill these, please. Okay. So I'm gonna leave one guy just chopping away at that tower. Please try to clear out these horse archers. They're a little annoying. Don't 
Don't do that, please. You guys just go kill this market. Now for red, you just have to kill this market. Well, two markets, but we start with this one. Remember, just keep training units on the back. This is like, they haven't even gotten to us yet. And we pull back. We don't have to kill those towers. And we can run away to the other market. <laughs> See how much easier this is going? I mean, we're under attack a little bit here. But shouldn't be a problem. Alright, those are just scouts. No worries. Now the other market's over this side somewhere. So let's just run up to it. And stab this market. Train more units back home. Like, we lose units, yeah, but you don't have to care too much. Okay, cool. Now... We just have to take out some of these last bits, but let's see how much of an army we gathered back home. We might have enough for, like, a second group. Group two. Uh, yeah, that's, that should be pretty good. So we're gonna just have to destroy a few things here. We can take out this small raiding party first. That should deal with most of their military. And we can send this party forward. Yeah, kill the military, please. Now with this group, we can start taking out what we need to take out. So starting with this town center, again, just walk right into it and attack. That should wreck them pretty quick. We just have to destroy town centers and mills on this side. So let's take out this mill. Also, let's grab our monk. We have cleared this way, so go grab that relic, please. Now, you guys have to kill that. You guys... Move down this way. And take out this mill. That mill's going down, great. This mill's going down, great. And then we can let our guys fight whatever. Okay, good. And wipe out whatever military remains. Now, for ease, I'm just gonna go ahead and build... Like, three of these. Alright. Now, our allies are bringing in some battering rams and stuff, which is good. Make sure we stop their battering rams. We can group everyone up into one group now. <laughs> Time Elaine has been wounded. Alright. So, now that we've actually killed all of the civilizations... I may just want to... Uh, where's our monk? Did we lose our monk? Oh, we lost a monk. All right. Go grab that, please. Must have been picked off or something. Alright, I'm just gonna go deal with that tower. You can wreck the rest of this. Alright. So we got these guys now. Let's just spam up battering rams. Like a lot of them. And we can also keep training military units, you know, because why not? We're low on gold, so let's just grab a bunch of these guys. Go mine that. 
Oh yeah, maybe he didn't die. Did I just not see him? Where's the monk we just sent out? I can't see... I'm not sure. Alright, so their units are looking... Eh, alright. Now how many battering rams do we have? Still training up more. Great. Gold mining continuing. Fantastic. This is almost depleted. So basically, the only thing we gotta get through now is a bunch of castles and stuff, because it's blocking our way to a relic. Oh, there's units here? I didn't even know. There's free units over that side. And you, you can join up again. Yeah, all of you, make your way over here. I assume our monk is... Ah, there he is. Oh, he's walking through the city. That's why I can't see him. No problem. Just keeping... All of this down. Great. Now we have 14, ba 14 batting rams. Should be enough. Should probably bring up our reinforcements. Also, you guys can now just go mine this gold. I'm gonna set you guys to group two. Ah, oh, isn't this much, much easier? <laughs> uh, it's uh, some tricks, some tricks of the books. Now I'm gonna bring this monk up to here. You guys are gonna just march on over. Oh, stop them, please. Alright, get that, and you get that. Kill that horseman, please. Alright, try and stop those horsemen. Thank you. No, no, finish that off. Okay, good. Now units, rush in. Okay, good. Now, at this point, we can pretty much lose all of our units. But I'm gonna try micro these batting ram a little bit. We just can't get through. There we go, castle's going down. These horsemen are a little annoying. You go there. We're gonna have to clear... ...these. Okay. <laughs> Tamerlane's back up. Let's put our units over on this side. Good. Now you want to get these towers all down first, otherwise they'll shoot your monk. But let's bring him up. Now you guys, just go kill that castle. Monk, grab the relic. Go back home. I did train another monk, but I don't know what happened to him. Or maybe I did lose the first monk, and this is the second monk. I'm not entirely sure. Alright, you guys can also start taking out 
things like the siege workshop and stuff. Yeah, you can get that. Okay, so we totally wreck them as well. You can go grab that tower. But basically we've won. We've got the relic, he's on his way home, and that's the final objective. And we're at 46, so we'll probably win by 50 in-game minutes, judging by the time. <laughs> ah, there we go, there we go. You guys happy? You guys happy? I played terribly, but won easily this time. <laughs> Once I understood, oh, you kill that guy and you get an ally. Not The main reason why that's good is because this becomes a distraction. All of blue and red coming down, they don't go to your base. They come here first and they run into this castle and these bunch of towers. And the unit's just going around helping out here and there. It, it's, it's a big deal. There we go. Green's completely wrecked. Where's our monk? There he is. Hey, Look at that. These guys who are on animals at the start, we never even use them after that. We get so much food from fishing. This dread fortress has claimed enough lives. Raise it to the ground. Uh, the dead. The dead. Here comes the monk with our victory condition. And that is the easy way to beat this first mission in the Tamerlane campaign. Easy, right? No problem. We didn't even sweat. We didn't even stress. Nothing. I was a common brigand when I first entered these lands. Now I am a mere of all of Transoxiana. Did it. We are victorious. Look at that. Look at that. Age of Empires 2, the particle effect simulator. In case you didn't know, these are interactable. Look at that. Block, block the particles. Block that white one. No, it got through. Okay. Never mind. And that's how you win the first mission. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Timeline. It's just dominated. Bam. Look at that. Easy. Amir of Transoxiana. I did it the super hard way the first time around. And that was the super easy way. So if you've been having trouble with that particular mission, hope this helped. <laughs> Basically for all the campaign missions, there's a little trick. Once you play it once and figure out what things are, the second time you play it, it's pretty easy to dominate. But there we go. I uh, hope you enjoyed that and found it useful. This has been Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition, an easy way to get through. Remember, when I say easy, I don't mean the best, I don't mean the most efficient, I mean the easiest, to the point where a new player could pull it off, right? And that's what I mean by easy. The easiest way to do something is not necessarily the best way to do something, but it's the most accessible. And I, I like that approach. I like that sort of concept of doing things in gaming, you know? Not necessarily the best, but it's good and it's easy. All right, that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to see more stuff on the channel, you can click the buttons on the screen right now where we have more Age of Empires, city building, strategy, simulation, all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, list videos for upcoming games, which I spend a long time working. I'm sure you'll like those videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there's a Humble Bundle referral link, a Patreon, and a merch store where you, if you check those out, thank you so much. Join us on Discord, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, LinkedIn, and all the other social platforms, all linked down below. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!